How's it going, everyone? Today, we are back with a new series. <laughs> and uh, you guys have seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. You know what we're doing. We are, well, more or less. Basically, what's happening is for every single boss in the game, we're going to be using a random number generator to basically decide on what weapon we're going to use. Now, how this is gonna work is I've listed basically every item obtainable in pre-hard mode as one to whatever. In this case, it's 94. And then for each boss, we're going to be rolling, picking a random number, and then finding out which weapon we get. We have a bunch of really garbage weapons thrown into the mix here, and very few good ones. So chances are, it's gonna be a very, very painful experience, but like that's that's kind of what we're going for here. <laughs> I'm going to be doing five rerolls throughout the whole playthrough. So basically how this is gonna work is if I think that it's going to literally be impossible to beat X boss with the weapon we pull, I'm going to allow myself to use a reroll. Now I can use five throughout anywhere in the game. I could use three on the same bots or I could space them out. It really depends on what I get. So that's how this is gonna work. We're gonna quickly check out our um, thing and <laughs> and see what we get. I'll go, I'll show you guys the list and uh, we'll we'll see how this goes. Okay, so here's our list. We have um we have we got melee, one through thirty three are swords, and about twenty of which are like the starting short swords and broad swords, which are really awful. Afterwards, we get to forty seven basically. Forty seven is where we split off to rangers. So forty seven of our ninety four entries are melee. This means chances are we're going to be using one of these weapons in this first uh, in this first category. Then we have ranged, so we got 20 here, and then magic, even less, and then summon, and then other. So how this is going to work is we're going to go to a random number generator right here, and we're going to be going from 1, minimum 1, maximum 94, and we're going to choose this. So again, we could get like something really good like the snowball cannon, or we could literally get the copper short sword and we have to use it against the boss. And that is how this playthrough is going to work. So let's go and generate. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, you're kidding. 10, dude. No, no. <laughs> A tin short sword. Okay. Okay, hold on. Seven. Seven. Seven damage. Okay. All right, so this might be a reroll episode right off the bat. I'll be honest, but that being said, there might be a way to do this. I don't know. We're going to see. All right, so quick little side note here. Uh, for those of you that were paying really close attention to my list, there were some errors in it. Um, so n most notably, uh, the tin broadsword or the tin short sword that we pulled is supposed to be tin broadsword. I had it listed twice, the tin short sword. Uh, the second time around, it should have been Tin Broadsword. Basically, how I did this was I went through the weapons and then counted them up like this. I'm also missing the Lead Short Sword in the list. So, like, this is totally off, but yeah, that's just kind of what happened. Um, for the next ones, I'm going to pay extra close attention so this doesn't happen. I gotta focus. I was, like, doing stuff on the side while I was listing them. I'm gonna not do that. That being said, I didn't know this till now, um, editing the video, so I filmed the whole thing with um, the tin short sword, actually, even worse. I did it with a copper short sword because I thought they were the exact same, when in reality, the tin short sword is actually better. So that's fun. Anyways, back to the video. Okay, now I forgot to mention we are playing in expert mode because I figured, okay, if we get things like the tin short sword, then we are going to be screwed. So basically what needs to go down is we need an expert mode playthrough, not normal, because that'd be too easy, even with the tin short sword. Um, well, we'll see about that, but uh, it'd be a little too easy, and I didn't want to go master because, like, it would just make the quality of the playthrough a lot worse if I went master mode, so was, okay. Expert's a good middle ground. So, again, we rolled a tin short sword. We have to use it against King Slime. I'm not going to have any rules against using it outside of the boss fight because it's exactly for this specific case. If we get some really garbage weapon then I'm not going to want to be using that to like grind everything and that would get very annoying very quickly. <laughs> so this is what we're doing. You know what? I just realized how flawed everything is because lots of those weapons, all those swords at the start, there should be half of the ones there because they're all equivalent. So that's kind of a flaw in our plan. Maybe I'll edit that for the next one, but I already rolled, I already rolled this weapon here. So like, you know what? I will take it. I will beat King Slime with a copper short sword. 
So what we want to do now is just suit up. We need gold armor. We need a bunch of accessories. Now, notably is the shark tooth necklace. Now, this thing is going to be very useful because armor penetration is going to be required here since our weapon only does about five damage. Okay, so it's been a minute since uh, you guys have seen my progress, but I've done a lot here. Okay, I've done a lot. Uh, I'm, I can't remember if this was built yet when you guys were, when I last saw you, but it's here now. Um, also... More importantly, I managed to grind for the shark tooth necklace. This thing took forever to get. I just couldn't get a blood moon. I had a bed over here, and I was just chilling there, like, all day. I could not get a single blood moon. I'm like, yo, okay, what's going on? I checked the requirements. Sure enough, I had everything. It's literally only 120 health. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't get it. So I left my PC on overnight, and uh, I woke up with um, that in my, in my inventory. So that was pretty nice. And yeah, we have the gold armor. I also got the feral claws. Not that they're gonna help that much, but I mean, like, it's a melee accessory. It's better than, you know, a shackle or something. Well, yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the melee speed is better than the shackle, I'm thinking. Just more damage is what we want. But currently, the plan is to get the tinkerer, so we gotta break an orb. We have to defeat the goblin army so that we can get reforges. And then all we have to do is finish up our arena and we can take on King Slime. So as you all definitely have noticed by now is we've skipped a lot of the grinding. The focus of these videos are going to be the boss fight. They're going to be the prep um, in terms of the weapon and the arena. And then we'll kind of go from there. We can definitely do this and uh, cheese things. And it bef I mean, come on, you can't blame me. Look what weapon I have to use. <laughs> Before you say anything in the comments, just 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 look. Uh, so yeah, I can't. I actually I don't even think this works. I'll be honest. Okay, I think we're almost there. That took a long time, as you can see by the time of day. <laughs> that was not very fun, uh, but it's over now. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these dudes to despawn. And then we should be good. All right, so we found the Tinkerer here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get him. Now, I'm just gonna quickly get the, the uh, rocket boots here and then we'll head back up. Okay, so now that we have the Tinkerer, Basically, what this means is we can start looking into reforges, and that is actually our last step. As you can see, I have the arena set up. We've got campfires. We have heart lanterns. We have the platform for dealing with all the extra slimes and all that good stuff. So this is all done. Now, um, how is this going to go? Well, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this could go really well or more likely, uh, more probable, really poorly. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see, um, but there's really only one way to find out and that's just to give it a go. Okay, well, all there is to do is wait until um, day <laughs> and then, <laughs> then it's go time. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> the moment of truth, everyone, I'm going to reset this. We're gonna buff and uh, we're going to give this a go. <laughs> King slime with a copper short sword. It's happening. Oh, it's hitbox is like, I have to get really in there. Actually, this is seeming, this seems to be pretty doable. Oh, there was big damage too. We're not taking much damage either. This is fine. This is great, actually. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me just play it a little bit safer. Oh my God. The feather fall is kind of helping, I think. Cause like when we get hit, we get sent so far away. Oh, we're critting for 12 damage. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. This is actually doable. I wasn't sure if this would happen. I was debating using up a reroll, but like, hey, if we we're gonna get the cop sh copper short sword, I'm glad we got it first thing, you know? <laughs> I'm glad it happened here. Strap in everyone. We're doing King Slime with a short sword, copper short sword in fact. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a minute. But I figured I'd speed it up because again, this is gonna take a while. I can't stress enough how important the the armor penetration is here. Because we have the shark tooth necklace and because we have the sharpening station, basically we're saying, hey, King Slime, you no longer have any defense. So whatever my copper short sword is displaying is how much damage we're going to be doing. Of course, if we get a crit, it's gonna be double that. But yeah, in conclusion, armor pen, good. Uh, let's get back to the fight. See, there we just got a dip, big jump. Boom, then we go over. Big job. Okay, I'm kind of starting to get some down here. Okay. <laughs> this has got to be like the one of the stupidest challenges I've ever done. I would say the stupidest, but I have beaten the game with only a sand gun. And 
about half the game with just the one of sparking. So like, this is up there, but not not quite, not quite. <laughs> but uh, this is going a lot better than I uh, thought. That's for sure. Okay, let me not speak too soon. Hi, hello, it's that time again. We're speeding up. Uh, <laughs> another thing I wanted to talk about is the Pharaoh Claws. I definitely didn't compare it to Shackle um, before, uh, but it's actually really helpful because you get auto swing and you get the faster melee speed. So, but more importantly, the auto swing, because otherwise you have to do frame perfect swings to get the most damage, uh, which is really annoying and hard to do. It's very good. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I still can't believe we got the copper short sword of all things. But yeah, we're going to be crossing this off the list. No duplicates. So I guess it's kind of lucky we got it first thing, right? Don't have to use up a reroll. Like, if it was for I of Cthulhu, this would be a lot harder. <laughs> okay. 33 health. Let's go. Let's go. We did it. We did it. That was, again, pretty stupid, but... Uh, I would say overall a great, um, start to the series. <laughs> King Slime with, uh, the Copper Short Sword. Okay, now I think it should be okay. We're gonna see if this is fine, but everything should be okay. We're gonna go to the random number generator in, uh, right now. 1 through 75. <laughs> we're gonna roll a number, and we're gonna see what we get. Hopefully, hopefully we're lucky, and we, uh, don't get something bad. This is going to be for the Eye of Cthulhu. No way, we got number 10. Is that another short sword? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we got a gold short sword, everyone. That is going to be actually very difficult. You see, this one was... This one was okay. This one was not bad. Eye of Cthulhu with a short sword is going to be hell. Um, so, I don't know. We're gonna figure that out. Okay, gold short sword time. Yay, fun, fun. Let's go. I love that. All right, gold anvil, gold short sword. Hello. <laughs> 12 damage, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 12 damage. Okay, double, double, uh, the damage here. That's, that's something at least. We have to fight the Ab Cthulhu with it. This is gonna be a great time, everyone. Um, we more or less have everything we need to go into the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, now I think what we're gonna do is we need a baseline, okay? We need to we need to see where we're at, okay? Because there there might there's a good chance we're going to need to re-roll here. Um, with the remainder of my gold, I'm going to try and get warding because I think our current reforges are not gonna be helpful. I think we just need to like really just not die against the eye. Because in order to get damage, we have to get up close and personal. We're going to be taking a lot of damage. So let's, I'll try and get some reforges. We're going to try it out as soon as possible. And we'll see uh, where we stand here. Okay, so uh, I actually don't have to use a summoning item. Um, your boy is just kind of saying, hey, let's, uh, let's spawn right now. <laughs> let's do it right now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so I did, I kind of have maybe something that could work with uh, railways. Although I'm not sure. I think I'd rather have just the free, completely free movement and um, just see how that goes. But I think our main concern here is just not being able to kill it within the allotted time. Because I don't think we're going to be doing enough damage. Um, <laughs> just because just because of the way the boss fight works. Uh, why do we have a... Oh, never mind. Okay, we're fine. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on just a moment here. I got to be careful. But, like, so there I just can't damage the eye at all. <laughs> Wait, why is it not doing any damage? We have 33 defense. Yo, guys, guys, I think, uh, I think we got this. <laughs> I think we got this, even though we got a golden short sword of all things. I don't know why everyone's, like, making a big fuss about these short swords. Like, they're actually kind of busted. They're kind of nutty. I'm doing 22 on a crit. Like... Say what you want about short swords, but they can they can put in some work. They can put in some some work, dude. Oh my god. Now unfortunately, again, because of the way this boss fight works, I kinda have to wait till the Ive Cthulhu dashes either in front of me or into me in order to do damage. So this did end up taking quite a long time. Sometimes you can see the moon in the background to see kind of where where we're at in terms of how long we have until day. Um, but overall it wasn't too bad because of how much defense we had. If we just slightly outrange it, it'll just dash through our short sword. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. My brain 
It's too big. It's too big, guys. It's, I'm sorry. It just. I I don't I don't know, man. This is. Look at that. 32 on a crit. That's crazy. Okay. I again. I shouldn't get so excited too fast here because, once again, anything can happen. We're only taking six damage though. <laughs> Welcome to Short Sword, the playthrough. So yeah, two Short Swords off the bat. Was it great? Not really. Can I make it work? Yes. It's doable. It's possible. Therefore, we will do it, and we will not re-roll. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that's I Cthulhu <laughs> with the Golden Short Sword. Actually, we're fine. Dude, we're fine. We're fine, dude. <laughs> Let's go Short Swords. I don't know why this is, like, working. This, this actually should not be working. This shouldn't be a thing. Like, both of those are so easy. Like, and it's not even like we're playing normal. This is expert mode. Like, <laughs> we are playing expert mode. Um, okay, well, I get these. I don't know if we'll ever actually get a chance to use them. But that's uh, to be determined right now. Let's go see what our next weapon is. <laughs> Alrighty, it is that time again. I believe I have fixed everything. Also, we got dark mode now. Let's go. Didn't know that was a thing until like five minutes ago, but it's here. Um, and yeah, so I think I fixed the entire list. Uh, there were weapons I was missing. I added in new ones that we can now get. Um, everything should be in order. We have one through 99. There was a few things that we could get now that um, the Eisman defeated. Um, but other than that, everything should be in order. I'm hoping. I, I went through it twice. If not, I am deeply ashamed with myself. Um, but yeah, here's a list. We're gonna open up our random number generator once more. We have 1 to 99. It always says 10 when I get here. If we get 10 again, we've gotten 10 twice. I, I need to see what's happening, because, like, <laughs> it's not supposed to be 10 every time. Uh, this is just the, the one on Google, but... Please give me something good. Like, Eater could really screw us over if we get something really bad, so. Might have to reroll, but we'll see. You're joking! You're joking. What is three? Oh my god! Is this working? Hold on. Oh, what would, what would 65 have been? 65 would have been a revolver. I am getting just... Why? I didn't, I didn't want to do a melee playthrough. That wasn't the goal of this challenge. Let alone using the copper broadsword against the Eater of Worlds. You know what? Okay, this is going to be kind of stupid because I might be able to do a reroll. I didn't count that one as a reroll. That was just to see if this works. I Otherwise, yeah, I would take it, but I didn't I didn't claim it, declare it. I am declaring the use of one reroll here. This could be stupid because we could... No, there's no way we get something worse. It's literally impossible. We got a copper broadsword. Um, I'm going to use a reroll here because I actually think this one might not be doable with copper broadsword. Um, or at least it'll be very painful. And we beat I Cthulhu with no issues, so I'm okay with doing this. 74. Okay, that is not a melee weapon. Thunder Zapper. Okay. Wait, is that good for Eater? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 12 magic damage. Does it pierce? It does not pierce, but that is 12. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. So we have to go to the desert underground desert or oasis that is not the worst thing in the world <laughs> that is not terrible i will take it man i will take it well i'll be honest guys this is going out well, bro <laughs> as i was saying this is going really well so far we we used one reroll again that means we have four left for the entire playthrough was it a bad one i don't think so copper broadsword i just like maybe i could have done it but it was more so just the idea that, hey, I want to not do a melee playthrough the whole time. <laughs> like, we were getting 1 through 10. We got 10 twice and then a 3. I'm like, nah, not doing that. Now, because we used the reroll, uh, both weapons, so the first roll and the reroll, are going to be taken out of the list for next time, for those wondering. Hey, it's your boy, the painter. I mean, the golfer. You know what? You're the painter now. Okay, you have fun with that guy. I'm going to run. Ow, ow, ow. Or not. You can chase me. Yep. Okay. So after, I think it would have been a little over two hours, um, we finally managed to find the Thunder Zapper. Uh, as you can see, I <laughs> looked just about everywhere on this world um, and couldn't quite find it. So what I said is, hey, I'm going to go on to a different world 
And I'll uh, look there. I went through, like, I could not find any more chests whatsoever on this world. So I, I generated a new one and finally found it. Again, it took a while, but, you know, all that matters is that we have it now. I think the uh, best thing to do here would be to just blow up all of the corruption, pretty much. And just have this massive arena wor to work with. So that, at the end of the day, like, if we can just slowly but surely, you know, take it out. I think that's the play. Okay, so the arena is just about done. Um, I've cleared out everything. The scarab bombs were so good at doing this, like just having those clean, even lines. Because if if you don't have those, uh, you can get stuck, and then it gets really bad. Um, so that should help a lot. Um, and then yeah, all I got to do is add a platform in between. Before we actually do the fight, I'm going to get some reforges, and I'm also going to hopefully fill out our mana. I think we need two, three more. I think three more. I think they're 20 each. Um, so I'm going to max out that. We're going to get reforges. And then we're going to see if we can uh, make this happen. Uh, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay. Um, so I was just going to get some moon glow um, for some, you know, regen potions. Well, for magic regen and the magic power. And um, then I realized, hey, uh, I kind of just totally forgot about <laughs> the fact that jungle armor exists. So yeah, jungle armor is a thing. And uh, I'm going to get that now. We have everything we need for the armor, which we'll get right now. Which means um, <laughs> it's time to do the boss fight. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to... I guess we'll just head over there. <laughs> I guess we'll just head over there. So, we're looking at 28 defense before the iron skin and before the uh, bass statues that we have over at um, the arena. So, this is the first time you guys will be actually seeing it here. Uh, but I think it'll be pretty good. So it's just a big open area like this and then uh, a platform. <laughs> and that's basically it. It gets a little choppy here where uh, we had, you know, ran into some demon altars. But other than that, it should be okay. Campfires, heart lanterns, the bass statues. Over here we're at, we're going to be at 41 defense. So I'm, I think um, the eater is only going to be doing 7 damage to us. So it might be a little overkill. But I don't think our weapon's going to be that good against it. Again, because it doesn't pierce and everything. All right. Here we go. Buff up. I'm going to block this off. And we have the eater, which is over here. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're doing we're doing a decent amount to the head anyways. So, like, if we're smart about this, yeah, we could... <laughs> this should be pretty easy. This should be pretty fine. Again, with the sword, this would be a lot worse, right? But we're not using no sword, so we should be okay. Yeah, there we go. I want it to... I almost want to be on the bottom layer. Because I'll have an easier time hitting it. So let me try that. But then we gotta move back. <laughs> oh man, this is like fighting the Devourer. From Calamity. Pretty much. <laughs> well, like, not at all, but you know what I mean. You can kind of see the, uh... <laughs> the similarities. Alright, we sh Again, we should be fine here, but it's just gonna be very annoying to deal with. Like everything in this, in this uh, playthrough, it's going to take a while. Because we're not going to be having good RNG. We're going to be getting weapons that are not optimal for the boss. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to take a minute. But, hey, I mean, like, if you're struggling with this boss, first of all, probably don't use the Thunder Zapper. Because you're making it much more difficult on yourself. But, more importantly, uh, just blow up the whole, the whole biome, basically. Make a big arena. This fight is so, so, so much easier when you do this. You don't get stuck on anything. You have so much extra space to maneuver around. It's just, it's huge the difference that you get here. We are just destroying this thing though. Like, slowly, but it's still getting destroyed. <laughs> this is actually pretty viable, man. This is working pretty well. So honestly, what this playthrough is showing is like, you can beat these bosses with just about anything, provided you take the, the actual steps and you don't get lazy and you yeah you, you just do everything <laughs> you do everything you can and you can beat these bosses that's what i'm learning um in this in this playthrough mind you you could do it so much easier without doing all this prep but if you are struggling you know there's always there's always a way you can make things easier for yourself so that's that's kind of the bottom line here i'm gonna open this up we got the worm scarf and uh that is going to be useful I'm not sure what I'm going to use it, switch it up for. That's fine. Um, and then we got to do another, we got to do another pull, guys. So 
I don't think we actually unlocked any weapons. Um, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna double check. After our first little screw up, I'm like making certain that we did- that we are not missing anything. So, let's, uh, let's- let's pull another weapon. Okay, we're back. It's that time again. We gotta choose a weapon. Um, I have added to the list, taken the two weapons that we technically pulled in the last one out, and we should be good. I'm- I think this is all good again. I'm not sure. I don't know. It should be fine. Um... Now, here's where things get scary. We are up against Queen V next, so we could definitely get screwed over. Again, all of those really bad swords are still here. We could still pull those. So, we're gonna hope for the best. There's pretty much no way I use a reroll unless it's literally impossible. Um, so hopefully, RNG is, is nice to us today. 42? That's a melee weapon. That's still a melee weapon. A wooden boomerang. Why? <laughs> we were one away from a swordfish. One away from an enchanted boomerang. That would have been cool. Flamerang would have been nice. No, no. Wooden boomerang. Oh my. Eight. Eight damage. Eight. Eight damage. Wooden boomerang in action. Look at that. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. All right. You know what? That's fine. So, wooden boomerang, I guess. Hey, we do. We did- look at that. Nine damage, everyone. We got nine damage. I don't know why we keep getting screwed over, like, every single time. There are so many good weapons here. And a lot of bad ones, but like, I'd say it's almost equal. You know, we're just getting really unlucky. We've been getting short swords, and now a wooden boomerang. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We gotta- we gotta roll with it. Oh, it's so slow. It is so slow. <laughs> I can run faster than it. Look at this. Look at that. I can catch it before it even starts moving back. So rather than getting molten, I'm too lazy. We're gonna do this. Are we gonna get um, punished for that? Maybe. Maybe. Um, do I know for sure? No. So we're just gonna do this and hope for the best. If if my math is correct here, I think at the by the end of the fight, uh, we're going to be actually doing one damage to the boss, which is, which is cool. That is fun. We all love to see that. The last thing I really need before we give this Queen Bee fight a go is uh, a Bezor. So I'm literally just going to get that. And then we're going... Oh, and then I gotta make an arena. <laughs> gotta make another arena. But that's okay. That's okay. I That's the least of my worries right now. So I'm going to do both of those things. And then I will be back with the boss fight. Okay, the arena's done. We're gonna place down the boomerang statue for the uh, boomerang buffs that it obviously has. Um, yeah. And I think we're good, maybe? I think if we just break it like that and then close this, there we go, we're good. Just like that, buff up, boom, we're in here. See, the thing is like, we aren't really at any threat of dying because it's doing four damage to us, but neither is it. Like, we're both just gonna be here for hours and hours. And the thing is, Right now, it doesn't seem too bad, but the longer the fight goes on, the more defense this thing gets. Eventually, as I was talking about before, I think we're going to be doing literally one damage to this thing. Um, so yeah, get ready for a long boss fight. There is definitely going to be speed ups, because there were in the other boss fights, and this one's going to take about, I don't know, 10 times as long. So yeah, <laughs> this fight did indeed take a long time. Um, and as you can see, our buffs sort of dwindle down. I go to check my inventory and I realize, hey, I don't actually have any extra buffs, nor do I have healing potions. So near the end, the fight actually starts getting pretty dicey because I, I realize this and then I start taking a bunch of damage and it's not fun. But yeah, until then, things are going quite smoothly, albeit very slow. Now coming up, you should start to see uh, our damage actually decrease around the halfway point here. Um, gradually throughout the fight, you'll continue to see our damage numbers go down and down and down until we are pretty much doing about one damage per hit, which uh, obviously makes this fight take a lot longer. Fun fact, this fight took about four times as long as the Eater fight that we just watched. A little bit over four times, actually. Um, which was not, not fun. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's defense is officially chewed through all of our armor penetration, which is bad, because now we're going to be doing 
a lot less damage. We're gonna really notice it now. Because before you couldn't really tell because our armor penetration was there. So the more defense it got, it didn't matter. But now, now we're doing six. <laughs> now we're doing six. So that's not fun. That's not fun. Not at all. And our buffs have now officially run out. Okay, so I need to really pay attention to Dodge Queen B. Now that our buffs have run out, we are actually in uh, a little bit of danger here from Queen B. <laughs> it can actually do quite a lot of damage to us which e with each burst. So yeah, I had to kind of go full tryhard for the next little bit here. Um, this section is actually sped up by 800 times. It's about as long as the last one you just saw, except the last one was about 700 times. So seven, not 700 times, sorry. 800% which is like eight times the speed um, and the last one with 700% which is about seven times the speed It took a fair chunk of time um, Everything was going great until there was a brief period of time where I just start getting hit by like dash after dash After dash and then just in the back of my mind knowing that I have no potion here and knowing that if I fail I have to redo this full like 25 minute fight was very stressful Oh, and another thing, every single time I would throw the boomerang and miss, I have to wait until it slowly makes its way back to me every single time. So a miss costs so much potential da- well, no, not that much potential damage. I mean, it's a lot when you're thinking of in the terms of a wooden boomerang, but it's maybe only like five damage that you're missing out on. But five damage goes a long way when you're using a wooden boomerang. So yeah, it, it was really bad all around. <laughs> I did two damage. I'm doing 30 more hits. 30 more hits. But if we get a crit, though. Three, two. Okay. Okay. All right. This is fine. This is fine. Go down, go down, go down. Gotta wait for the dash. Gotta wait for the dash. Patience, patience, patience. Okay. It's fine. Then over. Like this. Okay. One more. Two more. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. That was so scary. There was a period of time there where I was so close to dying. <laughs> oh, that was easily by far the most difficult one yet. Doesn't really matter what we get here because as you all know, uh... RNG and the, the, just because we get the bees knees doesn't mean we can use it um, unfortunately but okay well that's cool <laughs> we have one more boss for this episode and it's going to easily be the most difficult so we really need good RNG we have Skeletron this is a timed fight which means it's not like we can just use a wooden boomerang because in that fight, that took way longer than eight minutes. Or I guess, I don't know how many minutes we have for the night or whatever. But we are on a, a, a set time. So if we get a weapon that can't output enough damage, we actually just can't beat it. Which is why we have rerolls. But if we get really unlucky, we could actually straight up lose to this boss. Um, so we're going to try and see what we get. Hopefully, we can get something decent. <laughs> I think we deserve something decent after that. So, let's see. Let's see. Please. Please. Oh, 115, 115. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta make sure this is all, this is all good. Okay. Not, after wooden boomerang, be nice. No. I don't think this, I don't think this number could ever be good. It's melee. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I don't think this is possible. Okay, so somehow I got the numbers confused. I thought I got an umbrella. Uh, I actually got the breathing reed. I don't know how it happened. I need more sleep, but it doesn't matter because we rerolled anyways. And both weapons would have been close to impossible. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it probably would have been. And I didn't want to even try it because that would have been very bad. Uh, so yeah, we are going to reroll. 83. Okay, this could be... I think that's a summon weapon. 83. <gasps> Ruby Staff! Okay, yes! This is this is doable. Easy. Nice. Okay. 
Let's go, RNG. Well, no. That's... We only have three re-rolls remaining. All right, Ruby Staff, we can do. That we can do maybe right now. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember what exact uh, bars we need for the Ruby Staff. <laughs> um, so it's either gold. I think it's gold. It's got to be gold, right? Ruby Staff. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. That, that feels great. <laughs> That feels great. Yeah, so it's a lot slower than like say the even the Thunder Zapper that we had, but the fact that it can pierce is gonna be really nice in the fight for when the hands wanna block things. So we'll be fine. I think we'll be just fine. We'll put on this armor set again. And yeah, I'm gonna get my buff set up the arena like usual, and uh we'll take on this boss. Alright, so our arena is done. We have Skeletron here. And um, <laughs> we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. It should be fine. Like, this is just expert Skeletron. You know, I've done this so many times before. I've done this on Master Mode. I've done this in many difficult mods with uh, difficulties that go past your sort of Master Mode type of stuff. So, like, hey, this should be okay. This should be fine. There should be no reason why we lose here. Um, yeah, we should uh, We should be good. So, I'm going to wait till this um, the sun is going down here. And then we'll we'll give this a go. All right, we are good to go. Curse, here we go. Oh, look at all the slimes, nice. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much damage am I doing? Oh, right, the hands aren't down yet, never mind. <laughs> wait, is that a mechanic or is that a modded thing? Oh no, we're doing we're doing enough damage. Okay, I think I'm thinking of modded. I'm sorry, I, I play, yeah. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of modded over the years, so I think that's a modded thing. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's vanilla. I can't remember. But anyways, the important thing is we're here. We got the staff, and uh, we're we're just firing, swinging away. Nope. Shoot, shooting away, casting away. We're casting away. That's what we're doing. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like we deserve a good weapon after everything we've been through. Two short swords, a wooden boomerang. Like, come on. I have, I think we, we definitely deserve this. And we had to re-roll. Keep in mind, I, I rolled an umbrella. We would have had to do this fight with an umbrella. Um, so I think a re-roll was needed here because there's no way, no way an umbrella could uh, take down that much health in, uh, within, you know, this amount of time in expert. So yeah, I think uh, we, we did what we had to do. I'm very scared though, because if you look at the bosses we have left, we still have technically four um, timed boss fights, the the three mechs, and then you have Empress of Light, which is kind of timed, unless I do an O hit, which is which is possible. So like that one's not as, I mean, necessary, but it's still going to be very difficult. Um, so yeah, we could. It's not looking good because we only have three re rolls and you know those four different ones. So if we really get screwed over, uh then we could we could have an issue and there's also the fact that no you know what it, even if i got a really bad weapon it should be possible provided i'm not on any time constraint so like that's our only that's our only thing <laughs> that's all we gotta really worry about look how look how much time has passed and look how little damage we've done so maybe the hands do maybe that is a thing i don't know i can't remember i think it is I think that's vanilla. Yeah, now we're doing more. Yeah, okay. That is a vanilla thing. So let me focus on the hands real quick. Um, can you imagine trying to kill the hands with, uh... <laughs> with the umbrella? <laughs> oh god, that would be awful. That would be so bad. And now, um, now things get pretty easy, to be honest. There's not a whole lot going on here. So again, we would have been using the Breathing Reed, not the Umbrella, but they're pretty much equivalent. Um, breathing Reed being a little bit better just because of the way each works. But yeah, it uh, it wasn't too bad though. Like again, this is Ruby Staff is more than capable of doing it even in a normal playthrough. So this is we're 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 just fine. In three, two, one. I think it's wait. Okay, messed up the counter because I missed a bunch, and it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that was uh, part one of the random. It's it's kind of, it's like a randomizer, but not really. Bot tells me what weapon to use. Part one completed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for part two, and I'll see you guys hopefully pretty soon.